In this problem, we have to figure out how the graph of f of x equals the negative square root of the quantity x plus 3 can be obtained from the graph of the parent graph y equals the square root of x. So I've already written my function down here. And hopefully you can see there are two things going on with this function. There's a negative outside and then there's a plus 3 inside. So let's start with this negative outside. Remember, that means multiplying by a negative 1. Now remember, anything that happens to the function outside of the function is always going to be a vertical effect. And multiplying by a negative 1 is always a reflection. So this is going to be a vertical reflection in, and now you've got to figure out, is it going to reflect in the x or the y axis? So if you think about it, if I have a graph that's up here and I want to vertically reflect it, it's going to have to come down here. So I'm reflecting it in the x axis. So that's what multiplying by negative 1 outside does. Now I need to look at the x plus 3 inside. Anything inside the function is always a horizontal effect. And when you add and subtract, this is going to be a shift. But remember, when you shift horizontally, it always kind of does the opposite of what you think. So plus 3 is going to shift it 3 to the left. The plus 3 kind of makes you want to make it go right, but in fact, it's going to go to the left 3. And now remember, you always do the horizontal shifting left and right first. Therefore, I'm going to do the vertical reflection second. So we are going to have a horizontal shift 3 to the left and a vertical reflect in the x-axis. So all we have to do is go find our answer. So the first one, horizontally shift three units to the right. That one's incorrect because it's got to go to the left. B, three units to the left, looking good, and reflect it across the x-axis. So the answer definitely looks like B. Let's double check. C, it horizontally shifts it three to the right. Again, that's incorrect. D, it has a 3 to the left, but it reflects it across the y-axis, not the x-axis. Therefore, what is our answer for this problem? Our answer is B.